Barnstable professional boxer Jimmy Briggs was in the gym this week preparing to take on Jay Morris at Southampton Guild Hall. Preparations for Sunday's bout have been difficult for Briggs after original opponent Darryl Steele pulled out at short notice. But the North Devon prospect is determined to live up to his nickname as the Lionheart. I've trained very, very hard for this fight. I've, I've trained unbelievably hard. I mean, I've had to put on weight again in the last week, so I'll be a lot stronger. I won't be as uh, drained or dehydrated. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking to do, uh, do quite well. <laughs> like any other opponent, just get him out of the way. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very, very good, competent fighter. He's very highly rated and very highly thought of. So, um, obviously, I know that going into the fight. I'm still confident, as I always am. And um, I just think I'll be, my, my power, my strength will be too much for pretty much anybody in the weight, like middleweight division at the moment. I think I'm just a bit too strong for this guy. But apart from that, yeah, he's, I'm expecting a tough, uh, a tough, tough fight. Since I found out about the fight four or five weeks ago, I had to lose six, seven pounds to get down to 10 stone five. So it's just pasta and tuna. And uh, very light, very light eating, not drinking as much water, trying to get down to the weight steadily. Now um, I've got to get up, back up to 11 stone. It's a lot of chicken, a lot of uh, a lot of protein. Trying to put the muscle back on, drinking a hell of a lot of water, trying to get the water back in my body to make the weight. Um, but yes, you got to cut out pretty much all chocolate foods, all crisps. Donuts and any, any other rubbish that you like to eat, really. <laughs> anything yeah. that anything that's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the people around you have to be unbelievably patient. I mean, my family, my fiance Daisy, they've they've been so good. They've um, they supported me for everything. They, my 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 fiance might only see me for half an hour a night because I work. I go home, something to eat. Come here straight to the gym. I'm training. Go home about half nine, ten o'clock. I'm, I'm straight in bed and uh, it's it's very hard to juggle you've got to, you've got to work your boxing around every every other factor of your life it's it's very difficult but it's worthwhile it is um, I wouldn't do anything else I'd rather have this than anything else um, obviously I have to work I can't afford to give up work but I work from 8 till 5 I go home and have some dinner come straight to the gym I'm in the gym three or four hours. I uh, start off with skipping shadow boxing in the mirror for a good 45 minutes, half hour. Then my, my main training consists around this punch bag. I'm here for two hours, an hour and a half, two hours. Then it's a circuit. Uh, when I was uh, five or six, like any other boxer, I think, watching the Rocky films, always wanted to try it. My parents put it off, put it off. Eventually went to school, started getting a bit boisterous, so uh, a bit undisciplined. So uh, Dad took me down to boxing club, and it all started from there really. And fell in love with it the first day, the first time I punched a punch bag, and uh, just had the bug then. Since and since 10, 11 years old, this I've lived and breathed it. It's, it's the best thing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I wish a lot more young people would get into the sport. Get me off the streets on the straight and narrow. Uh, it's, it's done my life wonders. It's, it's really made me do well.